Hey guys, how's it going? So this is Aaron here, and today we're going to the airport. Hi. 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 Hello. <laughs> All right. This is uh, Rebecca, and this one's Rachel. It's cold out here. Yeah, it's cold I today. Feel the cold. I think it's uh, minus nine right now. One of the things I like to do is I like to fly a drone. When I bought the drone, I knew that I couldn't fly it close to airports and living next to an airport, I knew I'd have to go somewhere else to fly the drone. Now, what I didn't know at the time is that uh, the Canadian government was going to change the rules so that you had to be uh, nine kilometers or more from an international airport or a major, well, any, pretty much any airport. The, uh, the rules have changed since. They got a little looser, a little more liberal, I guess. Uh, now it's only five and a half kilometers. I was thinking about it. I'm like, well, how many people live right next to an international airport? And well, isn't this a great opportunity? We're uh, basically in the middle of nowhere right now. Um, right down the trail here, there's a, a military base. It's basically a place for uh, soldiers and their families to live in. There's a bunch of housing here. Hey guys, what's going on? Good. You want to say something? Yeah. Yeah! Um, we're going to go somewhere. I don't know where we're going, but we're going it's going to be fun. Oh yeah, we're going to be going to the airport. It's going to be very fun. And I'm going to go to the donut shop if you don't like me. So it's going to be something fun because we're twins. <laughs> We're just talking about something. Uh, yeah, we are on YouTube channel. I don't have a YouTube channel, but if I do, how about yeah. I would put a link down below here. This is where my children used to go to school. The federal government decided to close the school down or Let's put it this way, they decided not to renew the lease where the school is, so uh, the school board decided to take, to move the children to a different school. There's fewer soldiers here on base, so uh, that means that there's fewer children. Also, this is the old school over there, you saw back there, but those are the old school, but since they had to close it down, I go to another school. Hey, you want to see a duct tape purse? Oh, actually, I made this purse. Two handles. I helped put together a duct tape purse last night with my with my two daughters. I think Red Green would be pretty happy with that. I believe this is also the road where dignitaries come from around the world. This hangar here, right over here. Trying to get a photo here. Sure. Yeah, we're just trying on sweaters here. 
What's your, uh, what's your, does this? What Wear it is? forward. Wear it forward? Okay, cool. And it's at the Ottawa airport, and you're giving, uh, some of the money goes $5 to Chio, right? $5 to Chio for each sweater, right? Yes. Cool. And these are our models. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. See, we even have matching sweaters. <laughs> Chocolate. And a donut. I, uh, All right, guys. I'm just enjoying a cup of hot chocolate here. It's a great day here, great sunny day, great, almost winter here. And we're enjoying, uh, we're just getting our, our hands warmed up and our bodies warmed up. It's, ooh, it's, uh, it's getting cold. It's a lovely view here behind me at the sun just set. I can actually walk to almost any place in the world just by walking here. So, you know, I thought this was a, a bad thing because, you know, I can't fly my drone in my backyard, but I don't, I don't know what I'd rather give up, my drone, flying my drone in my backyard or being right next to an international airport. So I, I'm, I, think I'm, I think I'm happy where I am. Hey guys, so I want you to meet my friend AJ, uh, RJ, sorry. Hi. You're RJ. He's a fan. He likes to watch my vlogs. Anyway, uh, he's been working in the airport for a few months. And your dad works here too, eh? At the first air building. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Sometimes I think as creative people, we sometimes, uh, sometimes we think that we got, you know, we don't have the fastest camera. We don't have, uh, you know, we can't do the, the nice slow motion shots or we can't, um, we can't do those night shots or something. There's always something we we could do better we think well you know we can improve if we, if we only had better equipment uh, but I think a lot of it just simply comes down to us like uh, I, I think as someone who's uh, who likes to be creative uh, sometimes we have to kind of think outside of the box a little bit and to think can we do that a little differently and achieve the same effect and I think it's the same way in life you know, when we approach life's problems, we can we can see opportunities uh, instead of just the problems in front of us. So, like my example before, where I can't fly my drone in my backyard, well, that's okay because hey, there's an airport. What's the problem? The problem is the airport. Really? Is that a problem? Well, uh, the uh, the airport's a great place to come out. Uh, I think this is a great place to do my vlogs. It's a great place to chat with you guys. So I don't think it's a bad, I don't think this is a, you know, I don't think this is a bad thing. Um, I don't see it as a problem that way. Well, yeah, so I got a drone, but the, the real, the real big flying machines are, are right next to me. They're right under my nose and I should be over here filming them. And uh, I kind of, uh, I needed an attitude adjustment, you know, so it was, it was it's good. And I'm glad I'm, I'm here and get to spend some time with the family. Gaze upon the sky Christmas on my mind Somewhere from a place up high above There's a song of love Travel to warm up air. 